I would like you to write down if I had a magic wand. Fairy Princess Geeta here with a magic wand and I was able to give you a 25th hour today. What would you spend that hour on? Who would you spend it with, if anyone? Maybe it'd be on your own, reading a book, having a bath, going for a swim, walking the dog, meditating, eating a big bowl of ice cream on your own or with other people, going out to dinner. What would it be? Just take a moment and write that down. When you are able to set boundaries and say no, it is that thing that you've just written down that you will be able to do. So I want you to remember this crucial idea. As you're considering and working through the feeling of, oh, saying no, what I want you to have playing in your mind is this. If I say no, what does that mean I get to say yes to? And conversely, if I say yes, what does that mean I have to say no to? And once you can start to understand that at any given time, that's what's occurring, then it's going to be a lot simpler for you to start to see why it's important for you to say no. Because that thing that you wrote down, the 25th hour magical free time, extra bonus hour that Fairy Princess Gita gave you, if you say no, just maybe, maybe you get to say yes to that. And this is really important. That has to be important enough to you to be able to get your brain to change the way that it automatically wants to react in that situation. So try it today. If I say no, what does that mean I get to say yes to? And write down somewhere how you'd spend that time. Thank you.